Hi guys, hope you are doing well. This one here is going to be special, because incels are not always what we think they are. And we will also dive a little bit deep into the female psyche. Enough with the chit chat. Let's get right to business. You know what? I see why the fellas is mad at us. We could used to do better. So I was talking to one of my homegirls not too long ago. And she tells me she's met the perfect guy, right? She's like, he's great, he's handsome, um, great job, all of that, right? Oh, nobody's perfect, of course, but standard-wise, preference-wise, he met everything. So then later on, she tells me and she's like, oh, I dubbed him, you know, he's just not right for me. And I'm like, well, what happened? Like, everything was good. Like, you were saying, like, this could have been future hubby. Like, it, like you was damn near on the right track for everything. Like, he was just matching up. You know what this woman tells me? She says, his car is old. And I say... Okay, what, what does that mean? That What does that mean? She's like, well, he's been in his career for 10 plus years. He should have a brand new car. He should have something from this year. Like, why don't you have a more expensive car? Sis, sounds like he doesn't have a car payment. Sounds like he doesn't have... um. A extra seven, eight hundred dollars that he has to spend a month, or how much ever a car payment is. It sounds like he's saving up money. What's the problem? Does it work? Does it have an auxiliary cord? Does it have heat and air conditioning? That's all I really care about. Do the windows go up and down? Has it passed the inspection? That's really all that counts. But you're worried about it being an old car? Really? You're going to pass him up because his car is old? Just little shit like that that explains why these men are sick of us. Because you could have a perfectly good guy with a good career. He takes care of himself. You know what I'm saying? Like I, everything that you could ask for and it's just it's just not enough. But it's women like me that will love on y'all. I just want to let you know that. Okay? We are out here. Stop paying attention to the materialistic women. That's the only thing I can say to you, man. Damn, she is cute. <clears throat> that being said, that little story might sound hyperbolic. But when you live in a country where a woman who has been passed around the block can come with boldness and say that she deserves marriage, and that the man must be at least six feet two, have a six pack abs, make at least a hundred K, and so and so on. Basically, she asked for a Greek god like man who owns all the wealth the earth has to offer. Yeah, modern women are delusional, so a woman who dumps a man because he drives an old car, it is not mind blowing. Now, here's the trap. Do you see how she is trying to distance herself from other women, and say that she's not like that, and that she's not materialistic? Well, maybe she is, maybe she's not. But at the end of the day, we mustn't ignore the truth. When women reach a certain age and are still single, they enter in hunting mode that since most women are cowards and can't approach men, they try to make themselves more approachable by men. And more often than not, their speech start to get more and more aligned to what men want. And believe me, a woman will not hesitate any second to throw another woman under the bus if it means that she is going to be seen in a good light. Now, as soon as I saw this comment, I thought that this was hilarious because the funny part is the girl that I'm talking about in the video is not American. She's Panamanian. Yeah, she's she's not from here. She's one of the women that you passport bros would try to pick up. So yeah now let me say this i have nothing against the passport bros i've seen you guys talk up and down my timeline i don't see why women get so upset about it 
you know, as far as like you guys bashing, I think that y'all should maybe chill out on that. But as far as y'all saying that y'all want to find a woman, you know, out of the country, love is love. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sure you guys know their intention. I'm sure y'all know that those women are bred and they know to act a certain way, be a certain way just to get to America. They're going to do whatever they need to do to make sure that they get the green card. And y'all know that. Y'all know the intention. Y'all know it's not true love. Y'all know it's paid companionship. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, like I said, love is love. I wish you guys the best. Um, as far as you guys in my comments on this video, saying in the, the video that that I'm in the comments in saying, oh yeah, we up passport bros. Um, no, the, the girl I'm talking about, very materialistic, <laughs> not from here. Um, yeah, she's pretty much what you guys would try to pick up out of the country. So uh, yeah. I just thought I would share that. So I thought that that was really cute. It was a lot of y'all to comment. Well, gorgeous. You see, the problem is not really the woman. Yes, I know. Women have their problems, but guess what? In those countries, the culture, the atmosphere, the environment, they are not favorable to female stupidity. The atmosphere does not allow women bad behavior to flourish and proliferate. Yes, she's Panamanian, but you know what? She is in the U.S., and the U.S. is morally rotten for the most part. But, here's the question. Why did she felt compelled to answer to that comment? Well, the answer is pretty simple. She thought that by exposing the materialistic woman, she was going to increase her chances, but she found out that men would rather choose the overseas alternatives. I'm just going to say this for the sake of fairness. Maybe she is genuine, or maybe she is not. If she is genuine, may she finds what she seeks. If she is not, guys, all I can say is, beware of chameleons. At the very least, I will give her a thumbs up for not taking to social media and insult men. Okay. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share the video. And a sub to the channel will be awesome. Catch you on the next one, and have a great day.